Okay, so let's say we're doing a research project. A research project is a complicated activity that's going to be broken up into a lot of individual steps. So we want to schedule and break, break down those steps into a to-do list, basically, and then try to schedule that to-do list. Um, this needs to be compatible with everybody's schedule, everybody who's involved in the research project, and it needs to be compatible uh, with the deadlines of the research project, right? So those are all things to consider. So you might break it down into a list like this and then give a complete by date. Obviously, the first thing is going to be close to the assignment date, so the date it was assigned. And the last thing you're going to want to put um, near the deadline. So we have here, submit the final draft. That's going to be basically the day of the deadline or maybe a little before the deadline. And analyze your rhetorical situation. That's going to be something you want to do as soon as you're assigned the project, right? Analyze the rhetorical situation. That's the, that's the big picture. What's this? What's the purpose? What's your audience? What are you designing here? That's the first thing you want to start thinking about as soon as you get the assignment. And then this, in, these intermediate steps you want to consider based on how much time you think they'll take. So here, choose a possible topic and analyze the assignment. So you can do that the first day. As soon as you receive the assignment, you can read the, the assignment instructions and you can, you can think, okay, what's my topic? What am I interested in? And brainstorm first day, right? And it doesn't take that much time to, to consider what topics you might be interested in. Um, then plan a research strategy and do preliminary research. So planning that strategy, that's sort of what we're doing now. We're, we're trying to schedule the research project. Um, doing preliminary research is going to take a little more time, so you might give yourself a window for that. But, but that's just preliminary, so don't give yourself too much time. Uh, come up with a research question, so that that's going to be related to your topic, right? What what do you want to think about re related to your topic? What thesis do you want to de defend? Um, after a little preliminary research, you should have some idea of where to go with that. Um, here we have some. Now, once we get into the project, we're going to have a little bit more involved stuff. So schedule interviews and other field research. Not all projects are going to involve that, but that takes time, right, to schedule interviews and field research. So you want to plan that well ahead of time. Find sources. That can take time, too. You might have to really plunge through the Internet to find those sources. Then reading sources, that takes a lot of time, right? You're going to want to schedule, set aside some time to do that. Field research takes time, right? You have to actually go out in the field. Um, and then, then you, by the time you've done all this, you might have formed a tentative thesis, like your working thesis, and even your outline, like what you want to cover related to your thesis. And then you're going to want to write a draft. Writing a draft can take a certain amount of time. You have to allocate that time, set it aside, and write that draft, right? Um, get a response. So maybe you have somebody who you're going to get some feedback from um, regarding your draft. So first you have to have your draft written. And then you have to have this other person read your draft. That, now, that's going to take quite a bit of time because you have to depend on their schedule for that. Um, do any additional research. Who knows how long that could take. Um, revise. That could take a lot of time depending on the response you get. Uh, prepare your list of works cited. You already did the research, so you should have some sort of list. Edit, group read, and submit. So all of that is going to be stuff that you want to make realistic scheduling for, right? And the last thing, submitting the final draft, that's going to be your deadline. So you sort of want to do what's called um, interpolation. Um, you have your assignment date, you have your deadline, and you want to interpolate between. Interpolate means you want to find the dates in between the you have you have your first and you have your last so you have your beginning and your end and you want to find dates in between them in between those boundaries um, where you can make reasonable scheduling um, for the different steps that you'll take so then 
um, then you should have something like a reasonable plan um, for taking on a large-scale project with a lot of complex steps.